Hey, what's happening, War Gamers? It is another video from uh, Aegis Brand Studios, uh, and we are going to be taking a look at the Warhammer Commemorative Series Sister Terry Anna Palos. Now, for those of you uh, unaware of it, this was a model that was offered early on in the whole COVID-19 situation. Um, whether or not it was meant originally as, a, as an exclusive for some sort of convention uh, or anything like that, I, I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, it being a sister of battle, and not just a sister of battle, but it's a sister of battle uh, and the sculpt of probably one of my favorite pieces of artwork from the Sisters of Battle. Uh, it was something that I really had to have. Um, so, I mean, the fact that they, they made it available, uh, really kind of cool. Let me get, get the glare out of the way there. At least somewhat, anyway. Uh, so, really kind of cool. And honestly, it is a beautiful, beautiful looking model so far, at least from what we're seeing here. Uh, I've really been enjoying the, the character series that we've been seeing coming out of Games Workshop lately. It, uh, it, it's just really nice to see that. Like, just a little bit of nice flair for... Uh, for some unique characters, unique sculpts to get into the game itself. Um, and I mean, I'm a sucker for, for nice boxes like this as well. So let us crack it open and take a quick look at it. Uh, and as part of my usual uh, unboxing videos, we are going to take a look at the contents itself and then we're going to do a quick build of it. Now in this particular case, I am going to be making some slight modifications to it because I actually want to run her as a... Uh, uh, as I can in this with the Benefice Relic, which is the, the big heavy-duty uh, chain sword for, um, for Canis. So anyway, yeah, so there we go. We got instructions. Very straightforward. I really like that decorative base. There's the little bits of flame uh, on it. Really kind of dig it. Um, sadly, she doesn't have any specific rules herself. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. Maybe it's a missed opportunity. I'm not... I don't entirely know on that one just yet. Uh, I like it when they give special rules like that but at the same time if you start gating off uh special characters in these sort of packages it's a little unfortunate because i mean look at how long it took us to get say uh the sly marble model um there was the uh what was it the black library series for the uh for the custodes uh custodes and uh the sister of silence and it's just it's it gatekeeps the community and the hobby and i'm not a big fan of that so they basically got it all onto one sprue here which is great, and there is a lot of really nice detail on this. So let's uh, let's see if I can get it up here to focus a bit. Yeah, like some really nice detail. Let me get rid of that. Uh, like right down, uh, right down between the corset there, you can see like the the split in the in the actual uh, design of the model, which is great. You know, everything looks very clean. Uh, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm not seeing a lot of. I'm gonna bring it back down here so there's less blur. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of mold lines on it either, so it looks like it, she's going to be a very quick and easy build. So I'm going to get cracking on that, and uh, then I'm going to show you the final product. Alright, so we got the project done. So as you can already see right off the bat, I have made some modifications to uh, uh, Teriana here. So the first thing I did is I actually put uh, a bolt pistol on from the Seraphim Zephyrm kit, uh, which, you know, Concerned what I want to do with her, uh, that just makes perfect sense. The other thing I did is I gave her this beefy uh, uh, eviscerator from the Repentia kit uh, because I wanted something really to represent uh, the relic blade for the uh, order of the. Um, wow, I can't remember all of some bloody rose, but uh, whatever it is, the the wonderful order with the the red power armor that gets the extra attacks and all that sort of fun stuff. I I love that order. I've, I've been running it for a while. Um, the name just escapes me at the moment all of a sudden. Uh, but the model itself is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Like, the amount of detail in it is just great. Uh, the mold lines were very easy to put together. Uh, you actually can see very few uh, gaps in it, which is really nice. I love the detail on the tabard right there as well. Like, the little, the little holes, you can see the wear and tear on it. All the little purity scrolls and everything like that. The base looks fantastic with the extra little bit of flame on there. Uh, one complaint I have, and this is a minor one, um, but if you look at the hair, you can kind of see a bit of a seam there, uh, right up at the top there. Basically, the the front of her hair, the bangs and everything like that, uh, it comes in a separate piece. And as I was uh, cutting it out and trying to clean it, I almost lost it on the floor. And that is a big problem because you lose that piece and you're basically replacing the head at that point. You're not using that one. So that was a bit of a pain. Um, but aside from that, it was very easy to put together. And honestly, this was such an easy conversion to do as well. That hand is just perfectly positioned 
Uh, although I don't think the glue is quite taken properly on that one, so I might have to do a little bit to make sure that it that it stays on there. Yeah, it's a little loose. Yeah, that's a little loose. I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, just make sure it sets properly. Uh, but the model itself is just gorgeous. Uh, beautiful model. So if you are a Sisters of Battle player, I definitely recommend getting your hands on this model if you can. Uh, it is definitely worth the cost. Oh, I see a little bit of cleanup there that needs to be done as well. Uh, but just beautiful, beautiful model. Uh, did not take very long to put together at all. Uh, so anyway, that is Sister Tyriana Palos with a couple modifications. Uh, so yeah, go find this model if you're a Sisters of Battle player. It, it's great. Uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And of course, you can find me on social media. Just look up Aegis Brand Studios. I am all over the place there. And as always, thank you very much for watching and happy wargaming.